Well, we made it. I did a lock chest for the hero. <laughs> Anyway, Tio, how are you holding up? Oh, okay. Though, I'm not sure how I'd be faring without that break. I'm also alive by some miracle. Though, miracles aside, this breath. The, the, this village is absolutely breathtaking. Damn, flower field as far as the eyes can see. Another fishing spot that I can't use! A rural village surrounded by fields of blooming flowers. It's absolutely mesmerizing. And there's a sweet smell hanging in the air. Is that honey? Yep, you don't see the uh, apiary from here. According to the database, the honey from Amorican Village is one of the area specialties. Due to its quality, the demand for Amorican honey is uh, quite high, so it's exported all across the Maria. Yeah, I believe it. I'd always, er, uh, I'd always see it being sold to, uh, in grocery stores and markets. Is this where it comes from? That's right. It's rather surreal experiencing something firsthand when you've only read it in books. Aww. Ellie's had a rather shut-in kind of, or not really shut-in, sorry, sheltered kind of a childhood, huh? The implications. I like that. With the uh, the writing. I I'm just thinking aloud. A tranquil place like this fell victim to a monster attack. It's almost hard to believe. Can't blame ya. At first glance, all I see is a carefree happy village. Well, based on based on the CGS report, they first spoke to the village chief for details on the incident. Okay, let's do the same. Besides, he probably stays on top of what happens in the village. All that's left, uh... All that's left is to find out where he lives. Oh, you guys from Crossbow City? Doesn't seem right considering the bus just left a few minutes ago. Huh? You walked here? You city folk must be all crazy. <laughs> Should rock a fishing rod right now, right here. I, I looked at the Fisherman's Guild. They don't. Ha they didn't give me anything. And like I looked around all of Crossbell, uh, all of Crossbell City, like I didn't see any like fishing rods for up for grabs or anything. Is it here? The magnificent views you can find, you can find, uh, or you can find here are, in my opinion, some of the best treats Amorica has to offer. Ooh, I'm getting sleepy. I wonder, if, I wonder if anyone would notice if I snuck into the barn and took a quick nap. Derek found out, he'd probably end up scolding me, so maybe it's not worth it. Apiary, or apiary sounds like ape, not apple, or you know? Oh, it's apiary? Okay. The clean gleam of the water. The shadows of the fish outlined by the bright sunlight. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh man, I think I just saw a massive shadow just now. Oh, what I wouldn't give to uh, give to own my own fishing rod. English is great, totally consistent language. Yep. All right, now that I've stated my appetite with a big meal, I think it's time to drop my line and see what bites. Welcome. Oh, you're first time customers, right? You've caught us during our slow hour. Take your time and look over the menu, okay? Rustic Omu Rice. Crispy fry. I already have that. Rich cream soup. Here's that down. Oh. Huh. I should probably uh, exchange some Sepeth here. But I'll do that in a bit. Seaweed is just so adorable. Her smile gives me life. Welcome to the Ash Tree Inn. Feeling thirsty? From what I can see, you all look dead tired. Don't go overworking yourselves now. You know what? How about something to eat? I could whip up something in no time. Whip up something simple in no time flat. Uh, 
Huh. Stupid fields. Uh, as far as the eye can see, if we have to move, I'd rather move to Michelin. Oh, did you come from the city too? My son and I have been staying in Amorica Village for a while. A calm place, free from the hustle and the bustle of the city. This is the life I long for. Perhaps we'll move here after all. Oh, the boy is not going to be happy about that. <laughs> this place has no department store, no theater, even had a monster attack a while back. Uh, wake me up when we're back in Crossbow City. Um, I I don't know what to I don't know what to tell you, kid. I uh, I think you're gonna be. St I think you better get familiar with the city or village for uh. Real soon. And this place is too cheery. Uh, it's just plain dull. Uh, what I wouldn't give for something crazy to happen like last time. Bro, you want monsters to attack again? Who the heck are you guys? Huh? Police officers? Uh, what an encouraging reaction. What's a police officer? Holy... I remember that now. But what did they do again? Oh my god. Maybe some A-rank bracer would teach the kid how to catch bugs and fish. <laughs> Those two bundles of energy are my kids. Cute, aren't they? Though after what happened, I'm afraid to let them play outside by themselves. Something interesting. I think it's really interesting right now. Hold on. Man, this place is real serene. Customers, eh? I recommend the honey. Morka specialty. Buy as much as you like. Mor- but morning. Welcome to your general store. I- I bit my tongue. Uh, welcome to Rio General Store. Feel free to look around. A model orbital car. What? This is why I save my money. Straw hat. Oh, just plus five speed, just like that. You know what? That's ex that's actually what I need. Oh wait, no, no, no. we could use this for upgrades. Hold on. Not for sale. Oh, damn, we got a lot. definitely want uh, Tio to go first because like I want to be able to analyze turn one with her and then kill if I can get the other three to get the kill right away also I might as well just exchange for those uh, recipes right here how much is it Omo rice and rich cream soup Uh, let's not exchange too much of these. Alright, Earth. So I need 800 in total. That's... Six. Okay, I need 240. Have two mirror to my name. But yeah, I assume with the village like this is no orbital store. Obviously, duh. That might be convenient though.
I mean, this is like a countryside village, so. <laughs> Did we learn the Omu rice? I bought the Omu rice. Don't tell me I could have just learned it from someone for free. God damn it. I'm not loading back my save. I think it's been a little while, too. Yeah, uh, it's uh, too late. <laughs> oh. <sighs> this chest is huge! Hey, EP Cut. Really gonna take the EP Cut one? Haven't the Americans uh, been through enough? <laughs> okay. I think that's the village chief. No, that's the village chief. Of course the village chief has to be- Who is- Hmm. Oh, that must be, uh, what's her name's husband, right? Let me see. Thanks to you, the transaction went flawlessly. Thank you. Look forward to our next business collaboration. Yes, I as well. Though, are you sure that price is good for your business? It's 20% more than what other traders paid. I assure you, they're well worth the price. Given the praise that is su praise is sung about Amorica's specialty items, I think they'll prove uh, quite profitable. There's no need to fret over my endeavors. I'll break even somehow. Convenient as ever. Always a pleasure to work with you. Please, bring your beautiful wife and son with you to the village next time. I have no doubt they have a blast resting, relaxing in the sun. The recipes were written on the inn's banner. Are you serious? Huh, I think I'll do just that. Take care, Chief uh, Tolta. Yes, until next time. Oh, pardon me. That man just now. He had the air of a merchant about him. Sure did. Must have had some business with the Morco's head honcho. You all are? Oh, apologies for interrupting. We're looking for the chief of the village. Are you him by any chance? Indeed I am. Name's Tolta. Are you folks tourists? No, sir. We're here to investigate the recent monster attack in the village. Oh, I understand. The folks over at the Guardian Force have stopped by a few times already. Unfortunately, they couldn't find any conclusive leads. I'm full of confidence now that you, uh, you, are, uh, you all are on the job. This optimism is strange, don't you agree? Yep, same misunderstanding as usual. I've moved past the point of being surprised now. Sorry, sir, I should have been more clear. Hmm? What's clarity got to do with this? Despite what you're probably thinking, we aren't from the Bracer Guild. We're from the Crossbow Police Department, Special Support Section. It's like, ah, damn, the police are here, never mind. Hmm, is that right? Can't say that was my first guess. I apologize for the misunderstanding. The police rarely visit Morka Village, so I really wasn't expecting this. On the other hand, bracers are always coming and going, thanks to uh, Arios. Gotcha. How can one dude be so popular yet be, uh, so dedicated to his job? Bracers aside, Chief Tolta, can we get back to the reason why we're here? If you don't mind, could you give us a rundown of the attack? Hmm, sure, I don't mind. It happened about three weeks ago, on the night of a new moon. A pack of monsters snuck into our village, waste, laying waste to any crops they could find. Fruit, wheat, even our livestock was hit. Every household in the village was affected by it to some degree. And there were no eyewitnesses, right? Yes, unlike the rowdy city folk, people t here tend to go sleep earlier. After all, we get up when the rooster crows. Because of that, we're all fast asleep. When the people finally stepped outside, the paw prints and damage left by the monsters were clear as day. So no one was aware of what happened until dawn. Could you further expound upon why you think they are wolf-like in nature? Ah, oh, right, you see. The paw prints uh, left all around the village were sunk, uh, were of some kind of canine. Funny thing is, some CGF members were scheduled to patrol the Amorica area later that day. Once we informed them about the attack, they conducted a search of the perimeter just to be safe. But not a single trace of the canines was found anywhere. His statement seemed to line up with what the CGF report, had des uh, CGF report described. Hmm, that's good to hear. Like I said, it's been about three weeks since that mess. By the goddess's protection, we haven't been hit again. To be honest, I thought this was a one-time issue. 
I'm sorry to hear that the other locations have been attacked as well. Yeah, it's not a great situation. Yo, I got a question. It's pretty awesome to see the villagers uh, so chill after an attack like that. It's like the whole fiasco didn't phase them at all. Winter your loss is pretty heavy? Oh, it's not as bad as you think. If you count the losses per household, we're relatively light. Really, I thought it was much worse. Hmm, this is merely a rough estimate, but I wager a loss was around 100,000 Mira. Still, no matter how much I try to downplay it, a loss is still a loss. It was a stress- Blech. It was a stressful time for the village. Thankfully, we were able to strike a business deal that would help us recover. I'm happy to say that most of our losses have been accounted for by now. Or for, or for now. A business deal. Was it with that guest that has just left? How oh, cute I miss, yes. He's a merchant from Crossbow City. All of the past few years, we've maintained or maintained a healthy business relationship. After hearing about the damages, he increased his offers by a wide margin. Bless his soul. You don't see that kind of generosity too often in people. He sounds like a kind man. A merchant, eh? No wonder he was in that fancy getup. Gotta look the part or not, you know? Yes, well, considering the shape Crossbow is in, these damages are... Or these damages are the least of our worries. Think I'm gonna go to sleep now? Alright, Patchy. Have a nice night. You told her? I'm sorry, could you explain? Oops, looks like I got caught, caught up in the moment. Apologies, folks, forget all that nonsense. Geez, you can't just tease a man like that. That's like blowing a slab of meat in front of a dog and taking it away. Agreed. I don't appreciate being left in the dark. <laughs> My sincerest apologies. The ramblings of an old man aren't too interesting, but. Are you still curious? Yes sir, please tell us everything you know. At this point, we'll take any lead we, any lead we can get. Have a good stream, bad puns. <laughs> Will do. Hmm, well if you insist. Have you folks ever heard of the... Uh, divine Wolves? Divine Wolves? As in Holy Wolves. I do not believe such a term exists in the database. Just as I thought. The le this legend must be long lost in the city. Shame, really. Sorry, but what exactly is a divine wolf? Whatever it is, it sounds important. The divine wolves are an ancient species of beasts that reside within Crossbell. Stories describe them as wolves with fur as white as snow. You don't mean... Could these divine wolves be the culprits behind Amorica Village's damages? Of course. There's no evidence saying that they're the culprits, but personally, I would not be surprised if they were. You see, the old legends mention that these divine wolves are not regular wolves, but holy beasts sent by Idios herself. What you know about the name of the chapter is Afternoon of the Wolf? Oh, right, the chapter name. Uh, long ago, uh, or long ago, but this land of Crossbow was a bloody place, rife with conflict. While watching over the foolishness of man, they would occasionally help the weak, if they so desired. At least that's how the legend goes. I can't believe I've never heard of this before. Something about this sounds familiar. Yeah, I think I read a fairy tale about a white wolf uh, when I was a little kid. Pretty sure I borrowed the book from the library. Yes, I'm sure the legend of the Divine Wolves serves as the basis uh, for that particular uh, fairy tale. As I'm sure you're all aware, Crossbow has gone undergone drastic changes in the past few decades. Once it became the center of trade in Zemuria, being influenced by both the Empire and the Re and Republic, Crossbow began its leave, uh, began to leave its history in the past, and with that, the divine wolves slowly vanished. Huh? Guess they're fed up with man being as dumb as usual. Oh, said those are my thoughts exactly. That, I believe that's why the the divine wolves disappeared over the course of time. And if they finally have decided to return, I can only think, I can only think that this is an omen for uh omen of things to come. How would you think that? It may be out of my place to say, but I feel that Crossbow City has been expanding too rapidly and too aggressively. Last time I rode down to visit, all those changes left my jaw on the floor. As if it's as if people are so caught up in living in the moment, they've forgotten to remember the past. That's how I see it anyway. Hmm. I don't know what to say. Oh dear, I wasn't intending to lambast you folks with a sermon. I just think it's possible that this attack might have been a warning with, uh, from the returning of Divine Wolves. Or... Warning from the returning of Divine Wolves, okay. I suppose if you interpret it that way, everything would make sense. But it looks to me you all took this story a bit too seriously. Please ignore me. There were nothing more than ramblings of an old man who doesn't know when to stop talking. 
Omen of Wolf. Reminds you of FF15. I never played FF15 before. Mostly because, uh, you know, usual backlog and, uh, I didn't, uh, even if I really wanted to, I didn't want to have to watch, like, what was it, like, you have to watch, like, a movie or anime or something to get to, like, understand, like, important bits of the story before playing or something. I didn't want to do that. Then I keep hearing a lot of criticisms about FF15 with its story, although I think that's mainly because of the fact that a lot of it was DLC, which the special edition or whatever it is on Steam packs it all together, so I guess not that bad. I also got criti heard criticisms from friends I know with the gameplay, how brain dead easy it apparently can be, like, compared to other games or something. I don't know. You don't bother with anything outside of the game? Aquam is not Square Enix? Oh yeah, yeah. Thankfully, Falcom has a set, uh, like, it's sensible enough to actually pack all the world building and all of its stuff within the game. <laughs> I wouldn't dismiss yourself like that. That was all viable information, sir. I think I may even be able to tackle this case from a new angle. Hmm, I guess it was worth it then. Well, back to the subject at hand, you came here to conduct an investigation, right? Is there anything I can do to assist you? Yes, actually. May I have your permission to ask the villagers about the incident? If it's just you four, it shouldn't be a problem. Noon, isn't it? Perfect. Most people should be getting back from the farm work. From farm work right about this time. You hope they don't overmarket 16 like they did with 15? They went nuts? Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to see. Still, still an investigation. Here. May I haven't given the CPD enough credit? You may be a match for the guild. The only thing I'm certain of is that it took place in the dead of night. I don't know whether you'll find relevant information, but you're free to ask around in the village for any details. Just like my husband, I was fast asleep while the beast attack. I'm sorry. I wish I could be of more help to you. I have an idea. Why don't you ask the people near, uh, who live near where the brunt of the damage was? Oh yeah, not to mention, uh, I believe FF15 cup noodles. <laughs> oh boy. Divine wolves, eh? That was quite the story. Agreed. Unfortunately, there's no way we can confirm or deny their existence. Still, we can at least count them among our list of potential suspects. What a very Lloyd thing to say. It was ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> uh... With FF16 and all being announced, I kinda wonder if I should do, or I really wonder at some later point if I should do a uh, part 2 to the uh, FF Marathon starting from 10. And no, I know everyone's gonna say it again, no FF11 or 14. Although, provide, although uh, 14 does have a free trial up to Heaven's, or uh, including Heaven's Ward. So like, mmm. I don't know a certain friend of mine would go, Oh, FF14? Come on, I can walk you through all the dungeons. I'm like, oh my god, dude. <laughs> That's right. The paw prints found at the scene of the crime confirms the presence of some kind of wolf-like beast. But they somehow managed to vanish without a trace. It's bizarre, certainly. If they left paw prints, you would normally uh, be able to follow them back to their origin. Right, chalk that up to another as another mystery. We're dealing with something that was able to elude the CGS to invest investigators. Well, if they uh, escaped on a path we can never follow, that's, there's kind of nothing we can do about that. No use uh, frying your brain over it, okay? Yeah, you're right. All right, let's start gathering whatever intel we can get or we can around here. Considering it's already new, we might as well grab lunch while we're here too. <laughs> I can't wait. That hike really stirred up my appetite. Same here. Always done for some grub. Oh, head over to that. Uh, head over to the inn and see what info we can find on the way. Oh, 
Ah, oh, wait, I missed the guy that was over here. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Also, wait, this is also a good time for me to check the banner. Wait, is that the banner? What banner? Omarize can't say I've tried it before, what about you guys? Think I may have. Recipe's written right there, so might as well jot it down. Could probably solo 11 story content, but the gameplay is a 20 year old MMO's gameplay. <laughs> Hold on, what's this guy doing here? Think you going like this, don't know how long the village will last. Can't you see that I'm busy? I'll see right there. Okay, okay, so I wasn't really losing much by talking to him. The early I heard the chief mention something about the divine wolves. He may be my father. I can't help but getting annoyed that he won't let go of some silly things like so-called divine wolves. I just want to start focusing on improving the village, not worrying about things from the past. Oh, he... the boy doesn't know. You need to learn about the past if you want to move to the future. All that cheesy-ass stuff. You, you know what I'm talking about. You can't forget the past. I'm not saying cling on to it, but just remember it. Recently, our fields were ravaged by some monsters. To top it off, even our livestock didn't come out unscathed. We found paw prints of some canine, but whatever it is, it's not from these parts. Maybe they were really those divine wolves like the chief mentioned. We need to learn the Omarice again. I know, I know. Uh, I'm just getting through all the other houses first. During the day, you'll find my husband tending the veals near the village. He's on his lunch break now. While he's talking monsters and the recent attack, I wish he wouldn't stray too far from the village. I've been worried sick ever since that happened. I really let my kids out of, out of my sight now. What was the same about it? I don't know what happened. He told us to mention divine wolves or culprit or something. Psh, we don't need to worry. If he messes with us again, the great Camille will teach him a lesson. Oh boy, you have fun with that. My store may not have been hit. Um, may not have been hit by wolves, those wolves, but unfortunately the damages to the uh, apiary still lost me some Mira. The whole thing sounds so absurd when you actually think about it. I mean, if some monsters were behind it, shouldn't there have been more damage? Uh, I guess we were lucky. I'll need to give an extra prayer today to thank Idios for, prote for, for protecting us like she did. Huh, we attacked three weeks ago. I mean, the one everyone's been making a big deal about. I was fast asleep when it happened, so I don't remember much about it. Plus, I've already made up the loss we took, so why can't we just forget about it and move on? Because it'll happen again! So we need to stop by the end, so... Hey! Such a pretty day. Oh, you guys here to do loot efficient too? Not exactly, we're officers from the Crossbow Police Department. We're to investigate the monster attack that took place roughly three weeks ago. You don't strike me as a, a, mo a, a Morrigan. God, I really have to take a second sometimes to not, to, to not say American. God damn. Huh. But if you know anything uh, about it, anything at all, I'd appreciate if you told us. Ooh, it came about that. Very certainly right, I was trying to catch a python head around uh, then, so I wasn't actually in the village. Give me that fishing rod. <laughs> uh, CPD, I need, I, I need to seize that fishing rod. You can bet your horse I heard the stories afterwards, though. I see. Thank you for your help. We'll just have to find leads elsewhere. Sorry I couldn't be more help. But man, y'all have to travel, with, travel all the way out here for police stuff. Not gonna lie, that sounds rough. Oh, that reminds me. You guys having the fish? Uh, a beautiful day? Uh, uh, or, bleh. A day as beautiful as this comes once in a blue moon. Would it would be a shame if you weren't able to kick back and enjoy the sun for a bit. Hey! Hey! They gave us a whole bunch of uh, a bait as well. Oh, can't forget about this either. 
This notebook is an angler's uh, best friend. You can use it to record every detail about every catch from color to size. Are you sure this is okay? It's like you're giving us giving us an entire starting kit. Eh, no worries. I'm part of the Fisherman's Guild. Our whole mission is to promote the culture and the greatness of fishing. It's common practice for us to have a few beginner sets on hand in case you run into someone uh, inter interested in fishing. Also, water break. Stop by the building before. I think I have a better idea of what what they do now after meeting this guy. Hey, hey, this is a stroke of luck. Now we've got a nice hobby to do, or we can do between jobs or something. Right. While one of us, not me, fishes, the rest can take the chance to rest. Rest is a necessity, you know. From what you're saying, I'm guessing you two are so tired from the walk here. Now that I think about it, the last time I fished was when Guy first taught me. Once Guy joined the police, we never had much time to go, but maybe I should try to get back into it. If you're itching to try it out, there's a uh, this pretty, nice, pretty nice fishing spot in Amorica. Right over there. That little jetty over there? Guys, you're lying around there and you'll get bites in no time. I appreciate the advice. Thanks for everything. Rip on the water surfaces, prank off your fishing, see and blah, blah blah cast a line, when the thing comes up, press the thing to catch. Careful, they can get away with the bait. You know, I wonder if this is... I wonder if I can still right-click. Because if I have to actually press X, this would be a little bit annoying. Being regular, hard to be a place quite uncomfortable as a Morica. Palmer requires a little uh went out the incident. Oh no, no, night about the wolves attack. Three weeks since then don't remember much. Alright, time to fish. Sorry, I'm working carp. You're, gonna, you're about to get school. Sorry. Okay, I can still right click. The American carp. Um, the carp. The fish we caught spat out more fish. Okay. There are four kinds of fish in the spot? Okay. Tiger rockfish, fire sepith. Eater. Hey! Okay. Okay, so that's three. Uh, is it like two kinds of fish I can catch between the two baits? So that means I need to get one more from the dumplings? Uh, let's see. Uh, fishing notebook. Bait used. Okay. Also, some overlap apparently. Come on. The last one should be earthworm bait. Oh. Well, I mean, I guess I got myself some Winsepeth. 
Okay, so three of them are on Earthworm uh, Fate. Uh, hey, Rain Eater! Hey, got it. Okay. We're done here. Let's see, Ellie. Hey, Radiant Omorex. Sweet. Uh, so, CP 20, 50%, and clears confusion. Damn. <laughs> hey, Irie. Thank you for the host. How you doing? Information on the walls. Charge of where damage a bit. We'll sink gray. Bear in mind, no one saw the beasts. Then we'll hey, on the second floor. Munch, munch. Your over rest is the real deal, Gofan. Uh, if I could have a plate of this on my deathbed, I could die happy. <laughs> Good to hear, though. Cooking is worth the effort. Excuse us, sorry to interrupt. Can I help you? Yes, actually. You see, we're from the Crossbow Police Department. We're curious to know if you had any details regarding the wolf attack. Can you remember anything at all? The incident three weeks ago, you mean? Well, I always thought it was funny that the beasts attack early in the morning while everyone was fast asleep. If you think about it, it's almost as if they knew exactly what the time to attack. Anyway, the village was just unlucky. That's the only, uh, that's the only way I can make sense of this craziness. That's all, that's about all I could, all I'd be able to tell you as well. Study for you. Fine quality options? Hey! Most of the guests I've talked to didn't see anything either. That's unfortunate. And here I was hoping to find some solid evidence right off the bat. That's how investigation, er, that's how investigations go. Answers only show up when you're patient and steadily gather information. That may be, but do you think we can take a break? My stomach is going to implode. Oh, you folks haven't eaten yet. This is the perfect opportunity to get you four hooked on the in special in specialty omu rice. The bill's on me. Oh no, that's not necessary, sir. Oh, it's fine. Just think of it as my way of making some new friends. Or just think of it as a marketing tactic. Next time you visit Morka Village, come stop by the Ash Tree Inn for lunch. <laughs> can't refuse that generosity, can we? Lloyd, we might as well take him up on his kind offer if that's the case. I second that notion. Well, okay, I guess. Oh, chemistry? No. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a chem major. Leave up some over rice. Good deal. Why don't you folks find yourselves an uh, empty table while I whip up your meal? What's my major? Uh, computer science. In only a few minutes, four steaming plates of omu rice were brought to Lloyd's table. The SSS of demolishing the simply deli- er, simply, deliciously simple meal felt completely recovered from their long hike to Amorka Village. Ill? Oh. <laughs> what do you mean, ill? Most uh, people tend to feel as long as doing data structures. Oh, hey. oh, you won't. You just met with Chief Tolta. You're a merchant from Crossbow City, aren't you? <laughs> I guess you heard about that from the village chief. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Harold Hayworth. I run a small-scale business operation out of Crossbow City. Are you four here to purchase something as well? No, that's not it. The SSS introduced themselves and explained the reason they came to Amorica Village. Oh, you're from the CPD. My apologies. The special support section? That name sounds so familiar. Where in the world did I hear that? Oh, of course, the Crossbow Times. I take it you read that article on us. About that, please try not to let that influence your opinion of us. Haha. <laughs> There's no need to get all worked up about it. All I see is a group of individuals are working hard in a newly formed division of the CPD. Surely that article may have been overzealous with the sarcasm, but to be honest, I thought it generally tried to paint your er uh, efforts as earnest. You really think so? I suppose it could be interpreted like that from a more optimistic perspective. 
Matter structures your school is equivalent to gen general molecular bio, aka another drop class. Yeah... It, it's one of the gatekeeper classes, that's for sure. <laughs> well, we sort of know the author. That said, I think it might be giving her too much credit. Anyway, you mentioned wolf-like monsters. I've, I've heard of talk of a similar incident that took place over in... Blah. That took place over at St. Ursula Medical College. I'd be lying if I told you I wasn't anxious. Did you have some... Do you have some sort of partnership with St. Ursula as well, Mr. Hayworth? Yes, I do. You see, I wholesale medical supplies to them every so often. Rumor has it that someone there was injured during the attack. Also, wasn't there, wasn't there some damage over in Mainz, too? Fine, but I just have too many gatekeepers on them. Yeah, I imagine each major has their own set of gatekeeping classes. The real make or break. That's reassuring. Hmm, perhaps uh, I should pay Mains a visit as well. By the way, Mr. Hayworth, something has me curious. I heard you're more than generous with your offers on the goods you came to purchase today. Haha, <laughs> why, the village chief must really enjoy talking today. I wasn't exactly doing it as charity or anything like that. The Morica's specialty items, especially their honey, received glowing reviews these past months. I simply wanted to use this opportunity to leave a good impression on the people here. Nothing but a harmless marketing strategy. Not too shabby. I imagine, or I imagine earning a client's trust is vital in any sort of business. If that's the case, you must be running a smooth operation. No, no, I still have a lot to learn. I'm still a greenhorn in the realm of the biz realm of business. Also, allow me to to apologize. I sincerely wish I had more pertinent information to give you. No, please don't let it bother you. After all, we should be apolog apologizing. Or we should be the ones apologizing, taking up your precious time like this. Oh, not bad at all. Or, that, that, not bad at all. Not at all. Best of luck to you with your investigation. Darn wolves singing to the village? Something that outrageous would never happen in Crossbow City. Ah, oh, this entire situation sucks. Why the heck would my mom want to move to a place like this? The recent attack gave me quite the fright considering how peaceful it was that night. I can hardly believe my eyes. I know we're living in the countryside, but it was still a bit unnerving to see monsters wandering into civilized areas. We put a hold on our investigation for now. I guess so. Kinda sucks that we didn't hear anything useful though. And aside of the eyewitness testimonies, I was almost positive someone would have a hurt some howling, you know? It is strange. Hmm, it's something to keep in mind. Anyway, I think we've covered just about everything we can here. We should pay St. Ursula Medical uh, College a visit next. But let's go back to Crossbow City before that. No complaints from me. Though I can't say I have any desire to make the trek on foot again. Me neither. It's not worth the trouble. Or pain. Huh? You heard the ladies, Lord? I did. I did. And I agree. We can just check when the next bus, uh, or as at the bus stop. Hmm, I wonder if there's anything extra. We know one left, I have to do something. It seems like other people's dialogues have changed too, so I need to double check all of them. I mean, the game said we're done here, but you never know. I'm gonna go home while we're still playing. Oh dear. This might be sudden, but do you folks have any interest in books? Harold gave this to me uh, gave this to me when he came to restock his inventory. Thing is, I don't read much nowadays. 
Rather than let the book gather dust, I'm sure it'd uh, enjoy the company of those who actually read it. Read it. Hey! I knew it! <laughs> I knew I had to check something here! <gasps> Fuck yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah! You know what, let's take this time to go do some reading. I haven't read the crossbow times yet, actually. 